Uh, a quick update on the build I'm doing. It's a do wills cosprays pathfinder queen of the forest for the movement speed. I changed quite a lot of stuff since the last time. Um, I am not using magma orb anymore. I am using freezing pulse jewels and frostbolt jewels. The freezing pulse is still not 2120, so damage can be increased. And I am showcasing this build this time without a head hunter using the flow untethered. Flow untethered, the most important thing here is the 20% increased cooldown recovery speed, therefore making your freezing your cost freeze in 0.21 second from 0.25. And then for your cock, 0.5 seconds into 0.42 seconds. Now this is the important part of the build. If you don't have a headhunter, headhunter is just more for fun. This is actually better for single target, for bosses, and just overall. Um, everything else here you can see is quite cheap. Possibly are not that expensive. The only thing that's expensive is maybe a six link for the forest, maybe dying sun, and think tars 39 chaos, I think. Uh, quick showcase this is a breach and beyond rare. I don't know, flash charges. It has breach and quality. So this is just a quick demonstration. I think um, ice gold is better, but the colors are not working out for me that well. So this is a non hand to showcase once again, as requested from chat. I run this map normally, as I do. Um, one, I, one variant I've been toying around is with using the Ineos boots and using this charge. It feels comfortable. I just need to put in channel my boots before I apply more discharge. I might make a video guide on the discharge variant after once I get that. But so far I think this is the best non-discharge I could think of at the moment. Uh you know obviously I could probably find more combo later on. So I just get my flash charges before I kill the boss. I, I'm gonna kill them, this guy first because um, the flat kind of hurts. Okay, I'll die. And then volatile, make sure you run the fuck away from volatile. Oh, never mind. Harbinger. Before I had Glacial Cascade on one of my offense, but I think I think I'm comfortable. I, I think the build is comfortable enough to drop a Glacial Cascade now. Glacial Cascade is really good for single target, but without hatred, without full conversion, I feel like it's not that much of a DPS upgrade. But I went for double Frostball, double Facing Pulse build. The idea is obviously clear forest and go. Thanks, Fall dude. The idea is to go really fast and just cyclone without using a rolling bullet like this. So you have rolling blade still for pop fortify, danger situation when your flash is down. And then, um, yeah, the synergy of the jewels are really good so. Obviously, if you use one Frostbolt um, with two jewels, it's good, but if you use two Frostbolt, one in Cock and one in Frost Breeze, you know, you get the. It feels like you're getting more out of the jewels, while Glacier Cascade, you can you know, make do without any jewels, so. Another concept will be maybe Glacier Cascade, EK Nova, and go Hatred, and you can get full usage out of like, those physical nodes. Uh, you know, a lot of options. To bear, uh, a lot of options here to um, explore. So that's a quick rundown. I dropped Biscos for um, recovery charge for the bill because my head gives me the strength, and I need strength right now. Otherwise, I have to respect at a point and grab uh, the strength note here. See, without strength, I can't wear my fortify and my immortal call of a one. So 
And I just put back a hunter and voila, I could use my gems. Anyway, so yeah, if you don't use Biscos, you could use Pandemonius. This is actually probably more DPS. This is a uh, proc speed. This is penetration for bosses and blind. And this is a uh, 20% up to usually around 20% more multiplier because you get five procs on cost space over four procs. So that's the video guy for the flow on tether and the current update on this on this character. See you guys next time.